Hello, my name is Tomasz Pawlicki. I'm the technical support manager at Geoloptic. Our company manufactures instruments for measurement of optical radiation that are most often aimed at manufacturers of luminous. One of my roles in the company is to provide technical sessions about photometry and the use of that equipment to our customers. I would like to show you how to proceed with measurements of light distribution of luminous with the use of our new goniometer GLG301800. As an example, we will use luminous provided by our partner company Use Normlicht. This is a very specialized product aimed at very specific use. However, the same procedure will apply to any type of lumina. This is our new model of goniometer GLG301800. It is updated from the previous version by the capability of measurement of luminous up to 180 cm long, as well as with maximum weight of up to 30 kg. The advantages of this model are its very fluent movement and robust construction, as well as high precision ensured by the use of total encoders on both axes. This model also features extensive movement in the third axis, which allows us to fix luminous that are pretty shallow in their construction, as well as those that are very long. So we can manage to fit luminous up to 80 cm in depth. This model also features smart and convenient solution for electrical connection that provides power to measure Lumina. As you can see, those connectors are used to provide power to our Lumina and corresponding connectors are fixed on the back panel of the goniometer where we connect our power supply. The goniometer's construction includes rotating connections for cables inside it that allows us multiple rotations without the bundling of any cables around it. Additionally, we have laser alignment tool that helps us to ensure correct geometry of measuring setup. Its exact use will be presented in the following scene. As an option for this system, you can also order this manual control panel. It allows us to move the goniometer in three axes, but the same functionality can be obtained from the software. Stabilized laboratory power supplies are also very convenient tools to use, because when they are steered by software automatically with the rest of the system, they also allow us to fulfill the requirements of the standards in terms of stabilization of the lumina. As a measuring device, we use Spectis 1.3 LS, which is our preferred option for use with this system. It is joined with straight light limiting tube that increases the amount of signal and then 4 increases the speed of measurements. 